Hello, Mr. Siddle here, Howard House Art Technician, artist, illustrator and author of my own children's picture books. Today I'd like to show you how to draw Pablo the Picasso Fish, who is um, a character in my Little Angelica books. In the first book, this one, Pablo makes friends with little Angelica and with their other friends they have a lot of fun and try lots of different things. Now Pablo loves to play hide and seek. He's good at being camouflaged and things but it gets him in trouble in the second book and he gets stuck inside a tin can and they have to try and get him out. So let's begin. All you need is a clean sheet of paper, a pencil, a pen, a rubber and some colours. I'm going to use watercolour today just for, to make things a lot quicker. Now what you need to do to start is to make a nice oval shape. Draw it lightly in pencil first. Almost like a lemon, if you like. Almost like the shape of a lemon. Now, what I'm going to do is go straight in with my black pen now. I'm not going to use the uh, pencil anymore. So just following the line, I'm going to go start here. Go down, curve it down towards the mouth. and Make a nice little opening for a mouth, almost like he's talking. Saying, you can't find me, I'm hiding. And bring it down. And then we've got a little fin down here. Just like that. And you bring that back up. Now this is towards the back fin here. But that's the end of the body. And then we'll just add a little fin at the back there. And then he has another fin here. And this time, because I'm not overly happy with my pencil line there, I'm going to go in and then up. The good thing about drawing with pencil is everyone makes mistakes. I've been drawing for a long, long time now and I still make mistakes. But pencil gives you a way to practice, you see. But now you've got your outline, your outline of Pablo. Now I'm going to come into the fins and draw in like these extended V shapes into the fins. It gives it a bit of flow to the fin. Now Pablo the Picasso fish, I love the name. And the reason being is that Pablo Picasso was an amazing artist and inspired me through a lot of my work over the years. But on my, one of my very first scuba dives in Israel, a long, long time ago, I saw this strange looking fish go past me and I didn't know what it was. Um, and I, when I got back to my hotel, I looked it up. And I couldn't believe that it was called the Picasso fish. It's part of the trigger fish family. And I can't think of a more apt name for this fish. It looks like Pablo Picasso had designed it. So I had to feature it in one of my books at some point. Um, I have another fin to go up here. And it, it looks like he's just been mismatched together really lots of different funny shapes just stuck together but he's a very cool fish now I'm going to draw the eye so I'm going to do a big circle there and now this is going to be the pupil but I'm going to leave a bit of white okay so it gives it a bit of life there and now for the markings so I'm going to go one line down there and that 
will come down like that. And then we're going to go around the sides. Um, another one there. Now, the beauty of doing a fish like the Picasso fish, you don't have to stick to my design. You can make up your own funny shapes and colours. It can be anything you like to it, can't it? It's good to keep a similar outline to the fish, but you don't have to stick to the same designs as me. And the reason I did Pablo Picasso fish in so many different colours to go into the book was um, because I want him to be camouflaged as well. Because his main skill is hide and seek. So if he was camouflaged, all these multi-colours, it means that he's the same colours as the corals in the reef, the beautiful corals. So sometimes it's hard to spot him. Especially in the second book, when he gets stuck inside a tin can and he can't get out. But with help from his friends, he does. Which is always good. So there you go. We've got the outline to the fish now, to Pablo. So now I'm going to black in the main bits. That's the other thing about... Pablo, the, the, the actual Picasso fish, it's like he's been outlined by an artist. All these black lines everywhere. It's like something you do in illustration. On my original drawings for Pablo, I actually draw in each scale individually as well and emboss them to make them look three-dimensional. But obviously time-wise, I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible for you. Nearly there on the black. You have a nice thing about black as an outline. It enhances the colours inside. It really makes them look sharper and brighter. Okay. Just going to add a few more in there. Because normally this fin is, is completely black. I'm just going to leave a bit of white in there to give it a bit of movement. Um, make this line a bit thicker. That line. And then there it's going to be black as well. Okay. You now have your outline to Pablo the Picasso fish. If you wish to add colour, I'm going to use watercolour and I'm just going to use some random colours. I'm not necessarily going to keep it to how he was in the original. So I'm going to do this. Bit of green in there. And don't forget to clean your brush in between colours. Very important that otherwise your colours will get a bit murky. You don't want everything looking brown. I'm 
I'm going to mix up an orange, which is yellow and red. Go in there for that. Let's do these ones mauve for a change. Well, actually more sort of scarlet, the way it's come out. But... And I'm gonna go in with a bit of yellow in there, I think. Yellow or orange. More like a cadmium yellow, that I think. It's already looking like a big a Picasso painting <laughs> of sorts. And this time, I'm going to go in there. As I say, I've really rushed this, as I normally do for these. Um, but I think you get the gist. I'm going to add a bit of red in there, I think, for a change. There we go. And then to give it a bit more depth to the drawing or painting, I'm going to do something called Prussian blue. And the Prussian blue, a bit awkward to this way around, like that. Blend it up a little bit and it gives it a bit more depth. Have a little bit in here as well to the fins. It's quite strong that blue now. I like it though. Maybe, just maybe, a little bit of water. And there you have Pablo the Picasso fish. Here's one I did earlier. <laughs> Thank you for watching.